Hi, okay, we're in the last chapter installment. I think we're number six now. And in this chapter, we're gonna show adding a leaderboard to your game. So once again, we have a prefab for this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this um, leaderboard prefab in there. But let me first explain a little bit what's going on. The way, you, the way that leaderboards work uh, in PlayFab is you have these numerical values called stats, player stats. And your game can store a stat for a player and then that stat becomes a leaderboard. And then you can re request a leaderboard for that stat. And so for example, if I want to really quickly look at the documentation, you can see where this is under client, under down here under uh, uh, leaderboards, actually under I think player, player data, let's see where it is. Yeah, so we have get leaderboard, where you pass in the name of the statistic you want. And then, uh, and then we also have um, update user statistics, where you set the statistic you want for the player. Now, one thing to note about this is um, you may you have to be careful with this because it's very easy for hackers to hack your game and to update the wrong statistics for your for your for your play. The only way to be absolutely safe with leaderboards, make sure hackers can't cheat, is to uh, only post those user statistics from a, from your server, from the, from a, a multiplayer game server as opposed to your game client. So we actually have in the properties for this for your game, we actually have some some options here whether or not it's okay for your whether or not you're willing to trust your client to do certain activities. So in this case, I'm going to say yes, it is okay for the client to post stats for my player. Cuz if I don't do that, there's no way for this demo to work. And now that I'm saying it's okay to post stats for my player, let's go ahead and look now in the game. Uh, if I look at the let's see which one is it? I believe it is the um, player stats property. Uh, I believe this is where, let's take a look here. Yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, this is where I'm actually uh, uh, creating the and saving on the server the stats for player kills. So I'm creating a new dictionary, I'm adding the stat called score, uh, and I'm using the total kills for that. And then I'm calling store stats, and store stats is simply a function down here. Uh, let's find store stats right here. Uh, where is store stats? Yeah, right here. So the store stats, uh, just like in the other calls we've seen, it creates a request called an update user statistics request. It sets the stats dictionary to this property, and then it uh, it calls update user statistics, which posts it to the server. That's all it does. So when I run the game now, uh, oh, and then and then this other prefab I added will actually show a leaderboard for the game. So now when I run the game. And, and just uh, for performance reasons, uh, I am not updating, I'm only updating the stats every, I think it's like 10 or 15 seconds, and only when the data has actually changed. So uh, I'm not, you can see it right here actually. You can see uh, right here, I call save player state every 10 seconds, but in save player state, uh, I'm only uh, gonna actually do anything if, uh, if basically the, the data is old, uh, or rather the data is, uh, is, is, is changed and is dirty. So, angry demo one, password. All right, so now uh, you notice my lifetime kills is 11. I've been storing this all along here. I've been actually storing that in the, uh, the, the player properties. Let's give it 10 seconds to save on the server. All right, that should be enough now. By now, it should have updated my leaderboard. If you look the leaderboards right here, you can see, there it is, Angry Demo 1. That's my leaderboard for this game. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, that's, um, and then all those other properties, those are just, um, those are from other versions while I was getting this demo ready for testing. So that's that's my leaderboard. You can see uh, that it's, it's working correctly and posting the right data for my game. So with that, I think that is it. Actually, no, no. Um, we have one more chapter to go. So that's it for uh, this chapter. Thank you very much.